Only eight teams were good enough to make it this far, and only four can go on. Dick Vitale and I'll find out which of these teams will complete a piece in the Final Four puzzle after today's game between the Yale Bulldogs and the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Gauchos are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. Number one, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Second, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. And lastly, make sure you eat up the boards. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. The Gauchos will step to the line for the first time. Hits that one. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. They move it into the front court. Up it inside. Shoots from outside. Way off target. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. He up fakes. He attempts to jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He unloads. And a big rebound. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Number 23 handles the pass. He nails the shot. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass he keeps his dribble as they reset good job defensively they just won't give him any openings pressure in the basketball Trying to feed the low block. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. They go into the low block. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Down inside, number 15, pump fakes. There's the trap. He shoots from the top of the circle, way off target. Number 22 is feeling great out there right now. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. On the inside, trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Spacing. He makes a nice shot fake. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Up and inside. We'll take the shot. Off the rim and no good. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The power forward receives the pass. 
for two. Doesn't go. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Now trying to feed the low block. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Puts it up. He's getting lost on every move. We got to see more heart on defense. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. They work the perimeter. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He drains the bucket. Let's slow it down on the replay. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. The Gauchos have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. There it is, Jam City. That one's definitely worth the second look, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 15 receives the ball. Gave it up. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. He buries the shot. Got the shot if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the key. Green was there, but the shot didn't fall. And he'll kick it back outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Moving it around the perimeter. He fires from long range. Way off target. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. out of play. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. This just great hustle and great defense of the steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Up and inside. There's the fake. Tries for two. UC Santa Barbara are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. There's a double team waiting there. Oh, what a strip, Red. Number 42 handles the feed. 
Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Put a barista cough right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. He launches a three. Off the rim and no good. They're working around the perimeter. They'll bring it up. Can't get the shot to drop. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There they come with a double team to stop it. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. And you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. He goes with a jump hook. And he missed. Here's a double team. Ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Entry pass in the paint. Easy one. down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. For the bucket, drains it. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? On the dribble. Gives it up. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. Right there, Brad. you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Great play to take that to the basket. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? He keeps his dribble long enough to run his guy off the screen and slide in for the nice deuce. So forget about it. And then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. West checking court side with Aaron Andrews. Aaron. 
Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Way off target. From right in the circle, number 23, Niles long distance. around the perimeter on the dribble gives it up jumps into the defender and he scores despite the hack boy it's all elbows and shoulders down there and I think the defense is winning Dick I tell you, doing a he makes the block and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot and the ball goes out of bounds the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I'll tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Working it around the perimeter. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside, outside action always works. I post screen, gonna use it. Attempts the trifecta. Off the rim and no good. He fouled him. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. And that defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Takes away the pass. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. Hey, defenders must be confident they're going for a steal. If not, a walk can end up with a personal foul. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. It's the second. Gauchos are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Try 
tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tries for two, and in and out. Fakes a jumper. For the bucket, UC Santa Barbara are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I'm telling you, you kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Definitely a foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. High post player flashing. For two, that's good. Spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Now they work it around the perimeter. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. And off the mark. Right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Up and inside! On the outside. Number 22 comes up with it. Pump fakes. Number double zero scores it, and he's fouled. So an and one opportunity here. What a great play. Check him out, Dick. He's taunting the crowd. You've got that right, Brad. With the free throw. Makes the shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gave it up. Puts up the shot. Way off target. On the inside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. He shoots. Yale have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Back to the action. Opportunity for two for one. Puts it up looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. He's open if he wants the shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. They work the perimeter. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Outside jumper, 
Sinks the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. That's basic. Gave it up. Stolen away. And the ball goes out of play. Looking at the second half to decide the outcome of this ball game. It's been a tight one thus far, Mr. Vitale. What play do you think set the tone here tonight? In my opinion, Mr. Nessler, this trifecta is what set the tone for the offense in the first half. It represents the deep arsenal of threats this team has to offer. And now let's get ready for the start of the second half. You see Santa Barbara coughed up the ball way too many times in that first half day. They certainly did, Brad. I've said it a million times. Turnovers kill momentum. I don't see a lot of these kids taking my advice out there. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Number 42 goes to the line, shooting one. It's good. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He makes the shot. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. He comes up empty. The defenders doing a great job of blocked. The center with the ball. Up fake. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Number 10 takes it away. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Makes the shot. Double team now, bad angle. Tries for two. They still don't score. Tries to get the D to bite. Trying to draw some contact. The land. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. Sets the screen for his teammate. The Gauchos lead by six. comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon MBN. He tries the three ball. Can't put it down. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. 
Dumps it in. In the paint. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Rims out. There's a bad pass right to the defender. The shooting guard gets the ball. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all in them some. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, a very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Let's see if the replay does that any justice. Great defense. On the outside. Intercepted. The point guard gets the pass. Jump hook from the low block. UC Santa Barbara have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from left of the circle. The skip pass is picked off. And a momentary look from three-point land. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the three. He gets the bucket to fall. Gave it up. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He shoots from the baseline. Dump it inside. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. For the bucket, and he missed. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Shooting guard takes the feed. Way off target. They'll work it around the arc. The power forward takes the pass. Off the rim and no good. Two and in and out. Well, 
Looking for a good shot. Picked off. On the outside. For two. Perfectly executed. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. On the outside, way out on top, controlling the ball. Can't get the shot to drop. Jumped in front to take it away. Wide stance and the drops. Basket's good, and he got a little charity for his effort. Hey, he did a good job of keeping himself under control despite the foul. At the line. Sinks it. Looking for a good shot. Fakes it. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. With a little baby hook. In and out. Moving it around the perimeter. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. For the bucket, he gets it to go. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Pressure that basketball. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He gets the bucket to fall. Gave it up. They work it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Goes up for two. Makes the shot. Nice high post screen. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Doesn't go. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They work the perimeter. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. All right, thanks, Aaron. He is going to the line. He makes the first. Yale are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Lots of rim, but not in. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a good Blocks the shot. Steals the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He attempts a jump hook. Rims out. Working it around the perimeter. Got some room. With the shot. The Gauchos have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. There's the trap. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. He quickly brings it up court. Up and inside. Executes the baby hook, and in and out. For the deuce. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. This one might go down to the final buzzer. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I got defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. On the outside. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Turn around, fade away. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He goes for three. Too strong. Momentary look from three-point land. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And he'll kick it back outside. For two, sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. This crowd will go crazy if they get a shot to go down here. They 
go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Pump fakes. Now they work it around the perimeter. Just too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep. And number two, he doesn't have any footwork and doesn't move and beat him to the spot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. The ball goes out of bounds. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession here, timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Takes the outside jumper. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot will go. And the ball goes out of bounds. Post flasher is open. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Here's another look, Dick. He intercepts it. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles, and you can utilize that drop step. It's like a reverse pivot move. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. He lets it go. You see Santa Barbara. They have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. And he'll kick it back outside. They're working around the perimeter. up for two. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. We're going to move it around the perimeter. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Number 12 goes to the line for the first time. Makes the first shot. Makes the second shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team, Aaron. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. All right, thanks, Aaron. They'll work it around the arc. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. He missed. Not good. Not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. And a great defense. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it? Now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to be able to get to that winner circle. And yet another foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. 
Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. I'll tell you what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. He makes the front end of the one and one. Makes his second shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. He fires from long range. Shot clock is dead. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Sinks it. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Second one is no good. Gave it up. With a deep shot from outside. Off the rim and no good. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Cross court. Got a wide open look. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For the deuce. Rims out. Do you think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. Launches the bomb. Good. Dick, you said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I'll tell you, won't this game grab when you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. UC Santa Barbara wins and sends this capacity crowd into hysterics. Man, wow, what support they've been shown. I mean, it's tremendous. The coach now is really all excited and hopes that he gets the same support as they enter the next game. And that's the magical Final Four. Everybody dreams of being in a Final Four, and they are there. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.